Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Garrett. Don't What's kill happening? that bloke. We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. I'll volunteer to go. I thank you for that. I need every sword I can get. But Brit's going to. He took his vows in the set. He's a brother now. I understand why you hate him. But bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. I'm a ranger now. I've left my past behind me, Brit included. Until you're standing next to him with a sword in your hand. That's the real test. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'm a man of my word. I won't disappoint you. I'll hold you to that. It's a hard road to Crestus. We leave tomorrow. I'll do my best. Night. Now, why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well. Make sure they're ready. Dorf! Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. He wants us ready for the march tomorrow. Just give the word. I'm tired of being under Frostfinger's boot all the time. You do know we're heading off to fight a band of murderers, right? That's why you bring a ranger. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with you going to Craster's. Well, there's something you should know then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. I didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. You can't keep doing that, Cotter. Next time, ask. I did try. And you said he was just visiting. But I think there's more to it than that, isn't there? I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I heard it's a witch's den where they turn children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. You're wrong, Finn. It's more than a rumor. Lord Forrester found the truth. It's real. And this says it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. And here I thought you might have some brains, Garrett. You two deserve each other. Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? He doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, the things you hear about. The rumours is all. Hmm. I wouldn't know myself. <laughs> rumours my ass. You're hiding something, Cotter. I'm not. They're just things I hear around Castle Blacksall. People talk, you know. Not about the North Grove they don't. You do? Probably heard you talking about it. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. Cotter, I know you're lying. I covered for you. You owe me. All right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. You see, Ow. I live there. He's a wild man. In the north. I'm part of the free folk. Yeah. People round here call wildlings. I know. I know it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons south of the wall. We got caught, so... So I passed myself off as a local, and, well, 
the sentence me here to Castle Black for steel. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. Are you putting me on, Cotter? I wouldn't joke about that. They'd kill me if they found out. Are we... Are we still friends? I mean, I know it's a lot to take in. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. <laughs> At least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cutter! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking! <laughs> I'll be right there. I'm going back home. No matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No, but I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway, heading back home. I can guide you, keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. All right. Even if you are a bloodthirsty wildling. I won't let you down. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! Please, don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. Should tell the other guy though. Because I think he's gonna be important. Marine still smells like shit, even outside the walls. We'll find Croft here somewhere. Yeah. <sighs> You're right. Never better. <laughs> Back under the Mad King, they used to say death by sword was a sweet kiss, but fire would fuck you hard. Funny. No. No, not very. I'll go find Croft's tent. Asher, I need you to tell me the truth. I've come a long way to bring you home. Back in that cave, you made a choice. You must have thought only one of us was going to survive. Now, it's not a fair question to ask, but I need to know. I fought beside you, Uncle, too many times to count. I figured you could handle yourself. Beska was the one face to face with a dragon. I appreciate the respect, but it's not about that. Look, I can't blame you if your feelings about me are conflicted. Or your feelings about going home. Your family exiled you to this place. Exactly. But I swore an oath to your mother. Sailed halfway around the world to bring you back safe. And I'll be damned if some dragon fire or your foul decisions are going to stop me. Are we clear? I'm here to help you. To protect you. I'm sorry, Malcolm. I did you wrong. Well, it's good of you to say so. But words are wind, Asher. It's choices that define who you are. Asher, I know where Croft is. This Croft. How well do you know him? Too, Too well. well. I thought you said you were friends. <laughs> yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. Asher fucking Forrester. Son of a poxy whore. You have some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. You get it out your system? Not by half. You never understood consequences, Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learn. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you. <laughs> Not a fucking chance. So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Croft, no! Be reasonable! I am reasonable! I'm letting him fucking choose! My hair could use a trim. Take some off the top, would you? Do not fucking test me! Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asha. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose, or I slice off your balls, Asha! Hey, a hey, man hey! betrays my trust. There's a Stop price to be paid. Let him go! Enough! Fuck you, Croft! 
Have it your way. You didn't need your testicles anyway. <laughs> Oh, that was bloody beautiful. Fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. <laughs> I'm going for that. Joden, the Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humor. So what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from young guy. We have a proposition for you. We? You're hardly the usual rabble these two travel with. We need an army, Croft. My home back in Westeros is under siege. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. Am I in a hobby's tip? Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. A grace pays good coin. We can pay. I always knew your pockets were lined with gold. And I will happily take it from you. But it's not up to me. The second sons are sworn to Daenerys Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet. For now. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles. And a bloody dragon's gone missing. We found it. <laughs> but I know where to find a dragon. Ha! <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you just happen to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world? Orange eyes, as big as my head. Scales all black. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. We're done here, Asher. Uncle, show him. Dragonfire did that. So you rolled over into the bloody campfire in your sleep. Croft, I've seen her dragon. <sighs> oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this, it'll cost more than your balls. Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. You'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. Day tomorrow, isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Potter with it? You ask me. There's just something off about him. Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. Not like he's holding something back. He told him. me he's a wildling. What? Aye. Set his arms north of the wall. He was caught stealing on our side. Are you fucking kidding me? A wildling? We can't trust him. He's the enemy. Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is gonna wait for them? Right. Asshole. And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home.
I miss? Gonna be that guy, Big isn't it? Yep. A 300 mile walk, and you're still in my way. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Crasters, but this is even better. I don't have any time for you anymore, Brett. I hate you. You hate me. Now let's move on. Right. Garrett the Merciful, sparing the lives of everyone who does him wrong. I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. And for doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. It seemed only fair he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. You're not worth it. I didn't come here to chat, you fucking cunt. Too bad choice. your father didn't fight like that. I'd still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. Stop, damn it! I don't want to fight you! What's the matter? Don't you want to make your father proud? <laughs> Let's see if you scream like you're sick. <laughs> <laughs> You got lucky, pig farmer. You didn't kill my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Or are you afraid? Fuck you. You never gave my father any mercy. I made a wrong choice. He's got the wrong idea now. I picked the wrong choice though. I meant... No, you can't have your blade. I meant to say, I'm not gonna kill you. <laughs> 